What's going on YouTubers, gamers and fellow hobbyists out there? Welcome, welcome to On The Bench with Pete, the series that you put on in the background whilst you hobby or paint along with me. Now, I've, I've thought about this, the title for this episode. I'm going to call it um, Pockets of Hobby Time because that's what it feels like I've got here. Little pockets of hobby time. It's the weekend, it's Sunday. Back to work tomorrow, but you know, I'm grabbing a pocket and I'm in a pocket. I feel like I'm in a pocket because I'm in my studio and because everything's all boxed up, it feels a bit closed in because all the boxes are piling up. But yeah, I it's it's a pocket of hobby time and it's one that I'm going to share with you guys. Um, I have no order about what I'm going to do. I just know I've got stuff to do. So let's get to it. You know the drill loose brushes, models, paints, and whatever else you need at the ready. Drink, tea, coffee, water, whatever, and let's go. Right, well, this is my paint palette that I've been using. Um, I'm actually in the process of waiting for stuff to dry. Now, <clears throat> I'm not just paints. I'm actually waiting for glue to dry as well. I've been gluing together... Well, I've been going together um, a weapons stall. <laughs> That's part of what I've been doing. Um, now, what I want to get done is some of these bits and pieces. Now, this needs to be varnished. That can be varnished. Will be varnished. Actually, I'm just going to put a couple more highlights on these pots. And then it will be varnished. All this <coughs> needs finishing up here I need to finish it that's what I need to do desperately need to do this let's do some highlights on 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 these little red pot things I've got going on here now my fist on red here yeah, why not or yeah, come on right now. I'm, my fist on red will do it quite well, I think. Or, what's that? Oh, that's just bright red, so I've got foundries. That's too red. Yeah, my fist on red will be the one. I only need the smallest amount. The smallest of smallest of smallest amounts of this one. And then there's a brown one to do on the other side. Oh. Makes you wonder why you started. I've got my coffees in my um, drinking um, jug thing. The first dawn red. That's interesting, actually, because uh, that's the end of that one. It's just an old Mephiston red, but we're going to use it. Just do that a minute. Hmm. I should have another Mephisto on red in there. It's literally only for the, the rim of the pot here. It's literally just for that. And then do the same on the other one. Yes, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do that. That's the same here because I don't need that much continuity on it. There we go. Right. When that dries, then that can be varnished, and that's off of my painting desk. I'm telling you. Oh, we got to paint all this. Not much to paint actually on that. It's just a ship wreck or a boat wreck. Like a lifeboat wreck, you know. Yeah. Hmm. Now. Right, I want something done on each of these. I, I just want it done. I'm thinking, uh, 
what can we do here? Like a grey on this one. Oh, should I do it as an orange? We'll do the pot as orange. <coughs> I like this orange, so this will tie the orange in further. Bit of water here. Right, so this is what we're doing. Painting this pot orange. So guys, what are you working on? So as you can see, I'm still working on my bizarre um, bits and pieces. And I won't even be able to play with this until I move to Seton, really. Might be able to get my characters rolled up in my solo RPG series. But other than that, I don't think we'll be playing any games in Plymouth. I don't think we will, anyway. Yeah, that that will work. That will work. That works. Um, I think. I think it was corn red. I think. I think it was. Or was it burnt red? I think it was crusted saw. Uh, I've got a vampire red. That's a good. That's a good um, name, isn't it? For a paint. We've got it here. Abomination Gore. Wow. Um, World Bearers red. I think it was that actually. I think it was World Bearers red. Yes, it's definitely been opened, so I think it was that. No, that's World Bearers Red. That's something else. Oh, my goodness. My goodness me, what? Hmm. Well, we could use World Bearers Red, though. Um... Use it on this, and yeah, I'm not fitting the paint down. I know. I don't really need to so much on 3D printed stuff because of the lines. In fact, I find it better not to thin down my paints sometimes when I'm painting 3D printed models. Where you've got all these lines in them. So Covers the lines up a little bit. Not fully, but you know, a little bit. My coffee is just about ready to drink. Oh, I've just had fish finger sandwiches for some, for my tea. Really, I've decided we can't bother to be cooking stuff today and messing around. We just, especially after yesterday, was such a hectic day. Just for a bit of a free for all today when it comes to food, and I've cooked myself some fish finger sandwiches. I used to live on those back when I was a student. Right. right so that is that. I think that's the same colour pot as that one. Well, I think it is. I'm sure it's. Um, I'm sure it's corn red, but I don't know. If I can find burnt red, it might be that. I don't know why that's in my brain. It's a matter of finding it. There it is, burnt red. I think it could be that. I don't know. But... No, so 
second thought, maybe not, but that's burnt red, I think. Oh, it's so confusing. Burnt red, red bearers, red. No, this isn't, but I can do a bit of a highlight while I'm here. Yeah. Pots. Pots. And these rugs, or whatever they are, seem to be quite um, popular, shall we say. Right, that's it. I'm going for corn red. Whatever it is, whatever it is, it's weird. I wonder what it was. It wasn't any of those. All right, okay. Well, I think all that remains is a wash on there and maybe do sand for the base. Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> So, wash. I think the same can be said for that one. Uh, oh, hell, I like that one. Yeah, washes and bases. It's, what is that meant to be on there? I don't know. Stone, I think. Do a bit of a gold or brass or... or something effect on the lid of this lamp is that what it is a lamp like genie in a lamp type thing yeah looks like I was um, going to do a bit of a stone effect on some of the bases. So, on some of them I could do sand. I <coughs> don't know, tricky one, that. Right, so that's, they just need washing and basing. I think this one can be varnished now, and I'm going to varnish it. I was going to varnish it a video ago. <laughs> nah, too much. Never mind. Ooh, do you know, it might be just enough varnish this time around. Well, how cool is that? <laughs> right, just got to wait for that to dry. I'll put that over on my book camera there. That's good. Marvellous. Right, so that's drying. Still going to wait for more time for that to dry. Um, hmm. Still need Balfazar gold. I don't know. I don't know what these things are. But you just got to use your imagination. Um, as for this, it still needs a bit of work. Yeah, I can't paint those basket of things underneath. I've got to paint the, on that box, the string or the bands or whatever. I'll paint the innards for that one. Hmm. Colour to paint it. What about 
about a pink? Emperor's Children. Yeah. How it works for me. All right, a bit of Emperor's Children then. Here we go. Lair paint this so a bit thinner, that's okay. <laughs> now, this could be anything some sort of spice or exotic food. Who knows? I mean, who knows, man? I need washing. And basing. I could take the easy route and just put the sand on them all, can I? Probably what I'm going to end up doing, actually. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. <coughs> I'm just going to look in my current box. Oh, the current um, terrain I've got. Yeah. We're going to use sand. Sand base. Awesome. Right. Some coffee, I think. <laughs> so, uh, when I get these done then yeah i mean hmm. i think this one is pretty dry and can be varnished now so pop him to one side the roof on this it just needs a bit more of a second coat which we're going to do now Whilst I'm talking, and then oh, actually, that, that's good. <laughs> right, so that's good. That's done. Right, so I need. Big wash brush, Agrax Earth Shade, and this one first. Did I tell you I'm taking my push bike to Seaton? <laughs> gonna be a cyclist around Seaton. I'm gonna be push biking it. Oh, I don't need to be driving my car around there. There. Ready for basing. Put those there. All this stuff. Yeah. So I'm going to be cycling. I mean, we are going. We're going down to one car. So I'm. I'm. I'm essentially giving up my car. But not till after we move to Seaton because we're going to need my car to, you know, ferry the bits and pieces around and do this that, and the other, bring stuff over from my stuff in storage, you know, all that kind of thing, all that kind of gear. That's exciting. <laughs> That's ready for basing. Just going to go for a sand base, I've decided. Yeah, I'll be able to ride around Seaton. All the places I remember. <laughs> it's going to be so surreal. The places I used to go as a kid and that. 
Very surreal. I mean, where my old school was in Seaton, where I left Seaton, it's no longer there. It's houses now. I mean, the school has moved. It's up nearer to where I used to live, actually. Well, no, it's still quite far away, but it's up in that, that general direction. And I'll talk about that when we get there. So many memories, I'm going to be like kind of in a bit of shock, really, for a while. Wonder what next week will bring. Work-wise, I mean, work-wise, work's going quite well. Still lots to learn and that though. Paint those. I gotta wait for that to dry. Okay. We get in there though, we get in there. Definitely get in there. Um so baskets then. I'm gonna paint one grey. Light grey. This light grey. <laughs> Yeah. And we're coming up to winter time now. So we're, in, we're definitely in autumn now, right? We're at the time of recording this video, three months exactly to Christmas Day. Yes, I've said the C word. Sorry about that. But I've been getting Christmas emails. <laughs> um from Vistaprint, you know, about ordering Christmas cards and calendars and all that sort of stuff. So, hey, I'm just sharing the love. <laughs> Actually, no, I'll paint both of these the same color. That might be easier and preferable. Taking some of the stuff from the garden with us um, to Seaton. Taking the um, bird bath, which we will probably use as a plant pot holder rather than a bird bath because of our cat. You're like, oh, thank you. So we're gonna, yeah, use it as a plant pot holder, which we can do. We can do that. So we've missed the carnival, and uh, but we've got firework night yet. Um, we're going up there for a night um, on firework night, which is our anniversary and my wife's birthday. I've got a. Think of something to do for her birthday. Yeah, not entirely sure what to do for her birthday, but I will think of something. Rest assured, I will think of something. Let's see, this might be good to use on the straps here. <laughs> it would be cool. 
cool if we could go for a meal. That's part of it. But I do want to do something else. Um, it's not really the best time to be getting stuff, you know, like buying items when we're in the process of being so close to actually moving, so that's going to be tricky. Um, oh, that's good. Uh, yeah, how's that looking? That's looking pretty good, I think. Do straps on the barrel, and uh, that can be washed. I think when that dries, that can be washed. Excellent. Hey, doing it good. Doing very good. Now, it's been some time. For the glues had a good chance to dry on here let's, let's see a weapons stall so is it like a bit like that sort of thing I think it's sort of like that, more or less. That would be good. That can be next to like the spice store. Yeah, that's good. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, Might be easier to paint separately though. Lightened it. Hmm. Which is what we'll do. We'll do that. Um. Yeah, well, um, we'll prime this. Grey. That's what we'll do. Prime it grey. Actually, I'll just uh, pop that in there like that. We'll get this bit primed. Uh, or shall I paint it old school? Wouldn't it be better to do that? Nah. Grey is good. Okay, so what brush? Regiment. I don't want to... Have too big of a brush and get too many bubbles in it. Right, so a, a weapon store. Now I can have the weapon store on the bazaar. I'll just sell box standard weapons on it, I think. I'm just thinking out my campaign now. Whereas the one in the city. I'm thinking of getting like a proper blacksmith um, forge as well for that. And that can be... Um, I can do decent weapons in that one. 
to remember I've primed this. Okay, well. So it'll be another week before I get to do these again. And, uh, yeah. So it's been a good weather today, but um, not as hot as it, you know, it used to be. Do you remember the heat wave? I uh, remember that. Remember that. Never lasts long here. Sadly. I remember, like, during the start of the first one, you know, we were in Seton. We went to Seton. Stayed over a few days. Uh, that was nice. That was really nice. Oh, to be able to go back and say, hey, do you remember? Uh, certain people in certain shots might remember me. Say, do you remember me? There's a couple of older ladies that we bumped into as well while we were there. They were very nice, and we told Deb about what we wanted to do, move back to Seton and stuff, and they said, oh, I hope you, hope you do. There we go. I have to start holding this by the the base now. As far as bubbles go, this is doing all right actually. It's not bad at all. The old one, but wow. Well, we. There's a shop called Ackerman's in Zero, which is in the process of closing now, which is a shame because it's been there like hundreds of years. I'm hoping it'll still be there when we get there because uh, it's a hardware store. Uh, there's been a lot of hardware I'm going to need. <laughs> Different things. I've got a box preparing for the winter, winter box. Like for in case we have power cuts and things like that. Yeah, it's all good. I'm all, all prepared. I'm ready to go. Yeah, anything for sale on this stall in the uh, bazaar will just be bog a standard exactly as it says in the book I think that's uh, fair but uh, unless you get the odd you might get an odd rare occasion because uh, he could be a bit of like a pawn shop too couldn't he with weapons or she or she might get something traded in that was actually more decent than the standard Don't you get any magical items from here? But the magic store, or the potion store, spell store, whatever you might call it, that of course will be a different story. That'll be a different story. There, that can dry. I'm trying to remember the names of people I went to school with at Seton. You know, it's difficult. I remember some of them. Of course, they're all in my head, aren't they? Um, but, uh... It's just accessing those memories, you know. Yeah, it's just accessing the memories. So in my head, do you know? In my primary school, there was a there was a swimming pool, outdoor one. It was. It was freezing cold. Always freezing cold. <laughs> I can remember it well. Don't know why I should focus on that now. Remember the smell and the sound it made with the pump and all that going on. And
very cold. They had these changing huts up up there by the pool as well, and that was that was cold as well. That's freezing cold as I remember. You kind of, I mean, you kind of got acclimatised to it. And we were, I suppose, as bodies, we were more acclimatised to it. Anyway, being in Seaton and going in the sea, but my goodness. Yeah, I wonder if I'd ever come across old teachers and whatever else. I think I'd have a few things to say to them. If I did, head mass. I don't know if they might not even be alive still. Why well, I should think they'd still be alive is, I don't know. I'll get to the bottom of certain mysteries from my past, though. I used, in my class, there used to be a boy called Darren Peach. And in Seaton, there is a sign as you drive up past where I used to live. It says Peach's Garages. Or Garage. Peach's Garage is called. It's like an auto garage, you know, thing. And I'm thinking of calling in there saying, Hey, are you Darren Peach? We used to go to judo together. His father ran the uh, local judo club. So that might be interesting. See, see if he remembers me. See if I recognise him. <laughs> I doubt he looks like he did when we were kids. But what does any of us do? Then there was a boy called Mark Howard. I think he lived in Axminster. He was my best friend at school. Ah, Wayne Newton. He was called the kid. There was a kid called Wayne Newton. When I first started primary school. He was kind of my first friend there. Yeah, Wayne Newton. You see, the more you do, the more you remember. Okay, as so that's that. Goodness. I went to a birthday party of his once. I'm sorry for the inane ramblings uh, you get from me on this series, on, on today's episode. It's my brain trying to work things out. If you're new to this channel, if this is your first radio, then I've got MS. And my brain gets a bit, you know struggles to remember things but it's so long ago anyway but as you know all memories are there they're just you just got to be able to access them Wayne Newton yeah I will find that I remember more and more stuff. Paul Herford, another name. It's not the easiest thing. <laughs> this is only going to have 
like contrast paint put on it or speed paint or something. Yeah, the the um, in Seaton, where my school was. I'm this house is now, but I want to go there. I want to get on on my videos. I, I want to do well. I want to do special videos in lots of different locations. And lots of different locations will have different meanings for me. Uh, there's some beautiful locations there. Right, so I've I've primed the top of that rack, as it were. I'll call it a rack. Oh, where do I put it? Let's put it there. Right, what time have we got? Oh, 51 minutes. What? Say what? I didn't even get to my jousting um, tent. That's not on. Here. Might not even be. Uh, huh. uh, you know, this white's going to go over that. White, I tell you. Arctic white. Let's do some Arctic white on it. Yeah, let's do Arctic white. Turn that over. Give it a good shake. Mm -hmm. Um, put a little bit of water with it, maybe a smidge. Right, now I'm going to pop this onto here. Because the other bits, segments, are going to be red, as in the picture that I bought it from. And that's good, I think. Just putting this over white grey as an undercoat. Don't need to be careful about this. will need to be careful, however, with the next colour on here, which will be red. But for now, we're okay. Oh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Do you know, I can't wait to get my channel back on track. Oh, it's Bloody camera angle does my head in. It really does. I'm uh, toying with getting a cheap digital zoom camera to see how that handles straight um, talking. Uh, videos just straight on talking videos don't need to focus on anything I think they might be okay yeah I think it might be okay for that type of video obviously for this type of video um, for the tutorial stuff playthrough stuff all that sort of stuff I'm going to be sticking with optical zoom, which is what I've got here. 
which is of course the better of the two better resolution don't lose any clarity on the zoom in and we're zoomed in here now yeah. Yeah, sorry for the silence. Just so focused on painting this uh, jousting tent. It's going to be part of my bazaar. It's going to be part of my circus too. Will it actually be a jousting tent ever? I don't know, maybe. I've got my own other jousting tents as well. There's several on eBay. Uh, my new setup wherever I go it's most likely going to be in a room of sorts like a spare room so it'll be in the house proper I might might get to doing some live uh, streams Because although I can do that out here, it's not a strong uh, signal out here. I can get Wi-Fi out here, but it's not strong. And I wouldn't want to get cut off mid-flow or anything like that. I mean, I could do late-night streams as well, you know, that sort of thing. Okay. Yes. Well, the thing is, when we move, um, Mrs. Mini Warzone, I mean, I will occasionally, but not very often, not as much as Mrs. Mini Warzone, at least, uh, she'll, she will come down, back down to Plymouth uh, here and there to obviously see um, our daughter, make sure she's all right. So our daughter's going to be staying with um, my brother-in-law. Uh, like renting a room off of him for a bit and uh, yeah there'll be there's gonna be more occasions when um, Mrs. Minnie was only used to come on to a site to work or she might want to occasionally and she's got um friends she's gonna want to come and see down here as well so she's gonna tie it all in together with that and you know why not so if I end up <laughs> on a weekend of an evening on my own, what what better thing than to do a live show, live broadcast? That's what I'm thinking anyway. Looking forward to getting to know people in Seaton, like local business owners and that kind of thing. Right, what do you think? Looking a bit better. The black's going to be red, at least I think it is. Yeah, I think it'd be better. Colourful, you know, that kind of gear. That's the messy stage done. What time have we got here now? Oh, an hour. Just gone over an hour. Right, glasses off. Zoom out. Hey, I'm doing good at this zooming out stuff these days lately. Again, it right the right way around. So, I didn't even get to my owl bear. <laughs> Albert, I was doing Albert. Albert is a cool. I've got another one. I've got to find him. If 
got this insane idea to shove all my unpainted miniatures in a box. Really useful box. Go up in the car when we move then. That's what I'm thinking. Then that drawer, those drawers can be just on the van. I've got those desktop things to go on the van. Ah, <sighs> nightmare. I need to empty this the week before we move this room, this studio, empty of everything. And I'll take my mat as well, my big mat, because it's quite expensive. It's a good mat. I don't want to leave it behind. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. But anyway, till then, just going to keep doing videos and getting the stuff done uh, closer to completion. It'll be all in boxes, ready to go, ready to play. I'll be able to unpack and, you know, set up and play. Well, obviously there'll be other stuff to do. There's going to be a lot to do when I get to see them. But gradually, bit by bit, the studio will come together and we'll have a good time. We've got winter coming up now, so there'll be more indoor stuff over the winter. So that's going to be cool. In the summer, you'll find I'll be doing a lot of outdoor videos, um, P and Q. F speaking of P and Q, I'm thinking, ooh, Halloween P and Q special. You know it. I think I'm going to do a video about that. Of course, if you guys have any questions you want to ask on a, for a Halloween P and Q, here you can put them down here, and I'll I'll save them and record. The, you know, and I'll print them off ready for the time. Yeah, I'll probably do a um, a uh, reminder video for that. And as before, if I don't get enough questions, I'll I'll just pick one or two from the past that I really really like. Uh, I'm sure I will though. Um, even talking to people just over the phone or whatever, I get questions. I can get oh, excuse me. I can get questions from work too. So, all right. Finish up here. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, give this video a thumbs up. It's, it's been a strange video, this one. Lots of silences. and But it gives us both a chance to concentrate on what we're doing. Look, got the thing painted from my spice stall there. I'm going to have to varnish that up. And varnish up my spice stall itself. That's all done. So that's good. Um, yeah, give it a thumbs up, give it a share, check out Patreon, all that other usual good stuff. Uh, remember, all brushes lead to what I'll see you on another video. And bye for now, my friends. Bye bye.